Welcome to the Night Club, guys. It's your host, the Night Wrencher. I'm out here working on the corner of the shop, working on a couple of carburetor things, getting everything ready for the No Name Nationals. If you guys haven't heard, it's a YouTuber versus YouTuber type of league. Uh, it's being hosted by the AHRA uh, along with John Wilburn. And the main draw about this competition is that you guys will be able to see all of your favorite YouTubers battle it out for basically bragging rights and a little bit of pride. And I got to thinking why this competition is actually so important. And for those of you that kind of like don't really pay attention, a lot of us YouTubers are basically just like these homegrown people working in our shops or in our garages or even in our basement, working on stuff that we need to get done, working on stuff with the limited budgets that we have. Uh, most of us are not millionaires, we're not rich. The majority of us are blue collar guys and we don't really have the means to have somebody go and build our cars for us, which is probably why the No Name Nationals is such a big deal. It's all these homegrown people battling it out. And probably more important than that is that you guys will be able to put our YouTube ideologies to the test. Not all of us think about things the exact same way. And when you have two builds that are built very similarly, but one happens to do things one way and one happens to do things the other way, you'll be able to actually test that out on the track and essentially put your money where your mouth is. If you say that if you reverse some pistons and you end up blowing up your motor on the first run, or you won't even be able to make it off the line or you keep losing to every single person that challenges you then maybe reversing the pistons isn't really something that you really want to be doing to your motor conversely if you think that efi is a way to go and you switch all of your carburetor cars to efi and you end up getting beat or you end up having issues or you can't get the tune right and it doesn't run right on the track maybe because you were in california and then you moved it out to wherever missouri wherever the race is going to take place and the tune is way off that's all taken into consideration when you're working under these conditions it essentially we out the people who know what they're talking about against the people who have no idea and they're just talking out of their butt so maybe we have some big-time youtubers out there trying to be this know-it-all genius man or woman and then they get to the track and they blow it up on the first run then maybe they're not actually the genius that we all think that they are so this is an excellent opportunity for us youtubers to really put our money where our mouth is and I think it's going to be an awesome experience for anybody that goes, anybody that decides to participate, and anybody that decides to live stream the event. It's going to be an awesome opportunity to really, really look at who you're following and whether or not they have what it takes to perform out on the real track with other people that are doing the exact same thing that they are. So that's all for today. I will see you guys all in the next one. Night Wrencher out.